What's up everyone and welcome to our post E3 coverage for the EA conference. It just ended. We're going to give you our impressions of what we saw. Uh, starting off, we started the conference off with a Titanfall 2 um, multiplayer trailer and a single player trailer that followed that. What did you think of those? Uh, multiplayer looked really cool. It looked kind of like the first one, but a little more maybe more players or whatever you know mm -hmm. uh it seemed bigger and a lot more uh, different titans that you could play with yeah uh, six new titans yeah the the guns looked really cool yeah um single player i thought it was actually looked pretty cool because i thought what they were kind of going with was like the titan almost has like a human element mm -hmm. to it like it kind of is like your friend and helps you out and I'm interested to see how like emotional they go into it yeah. with the Titan. Yeah, it looks like they're kind of leaning towards a relationship there yeah. between the Titan and the player. Yeah. So I hope they go into that quite a bit because I think that could be cool. Because in multiplayer, it looks like they're at least for the first one it seemed like they were just kind of like tools that you used and stuff. So it's interesting yeah, to see yeah. in the single player aspect that. Yeah, I agree. Um I don't remember the exact order of the conference, but sometime shortly after that, we got a look at Mass Effect Andromeda. What did you think of what we saw with that? Uh, or lack the, thereof? <laughs> the little bit that we saw. Um, I thought it was really cool. The uh, It looks like huge scale. Yeah. Like They did that shot of them in like that desert planet mm -hmm. or whatever, and it looked huge. It looked like you're just a tiny little ant on that yeah. thing. So... I'm really excited to see how big it is. Um, obviously, would have liked to see some gameplay. I know you're disappointed about that, but yeah, yeah I'll, I'll get into our broader feelings after. But yeah, it it looked cool. I definitely interested to see more of that. Yeah, I am intrigued um, to see where they're going to take it because they um, with the first three games, you have you're the human race mm -hmm. and everyone else is an alien and they kind of um drove the point forward with what they showed today that you are the alien here on out i mean you are in a galaxy that you shouldn't be in you're not in your home galaxy anymore mm -hmm. um so i can't wait to see where they take that I'm that'll be interesting interested to see uh at the end of the trailer, they showed that girl waking up mm -hmm. like she had just arrived there or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see like what if she's like a main character and then what she'll be doing. Yeah, that that'll be cool. See, when they first showed that, I wondered if that was female Shepard. Yeah, from the first three games, but I don't know if it is. Yeah, because um, they want to disconnect themselves from the first three games. It sounds like, but uh, I'm. Very excited to see more of that game. Yeah, definitely, but definitely game. I'm I'm disappointed that I don't know. I was anticipating at least some gameplay. Maybe not a release date, but I thought for sure we'd get like a walkthrough demo of like yeah. five or ten minutes. But we didn't get any of that. Did they say 2018 was it? They didn't give they a date. Didn't. They didn't even oh. give a date at gotcha. all. So I think that game is at least two or three more years yeah. out. I mean, I could see that game coming out in 2019 at this pace. Damn. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know. 2018, I think, at, at the least. Yeah. But uh, we got um, a highlight reel out of their all of their Star Wars studios. So mm -hmm. Respawn, um, Visceral. Dice, Visceral, um, and then some of the studios working on their mobile games. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why we're they started this trend like two years ago where they started these um, these it's almost like we don't have gameplay or anything else to show you right now so here's what we're going to do we're going to show you all of our people working so hard yeah. on a game that you want, and but like, we don't have a trailer they, they ready. They brought up the R two D two and BBA. They're like, yeah. oh, it was a cool, yeah. cool trailer. Yeah, but it didn't. <laughs> it was a trailer for the anything. studios and not for the games. You yeah. Know? Um, very disappointed that we didn't see 
hardly anything out of Amy Hennig, um, her game. She is, I guess you would say, project lead for the Visceral Star Wars game. Mm-hmm. And she was very well known for the Uncharted series before. So I'm very excited to see what she brings to the table. Um, Cause I mean, Uncharted, that's a massive franchise, you know, like huge. see what she can bring that to the star Wars, which is already a huge franchise in itself, you mm-hmm. know, huge. And, uh, I mean, some, you guys might point out in the comments, Oh, they showed a little bit. Well, the in game play <laughs> footage that they showed will not look like that. And, I don't know, I just, I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't show anything other than that. Um, After that, we got some, I think they announced three EA Originals, is that what they called them? Yeah. Where uh, they're going to start working, or they're going to continue working with um, indie developers more, just like they did with Unravel, um, Mm -hmm. that started a year or two ago. And they pointed out that fee game, fee or fair, whatever. Yeah, it I'm looks sure. cool. Yeah. Um, um, Ori in the Blind Forest. It looks yeah a lot like Ori. Yeah. yeah. I'm interested to see about that. Like it looks like a good indie kind of game. You know, mm-hmm. like it'd be fun to play. I think. Yeah. In between there, we had uh, Madden gameplay, FIFA gameplay. I won't speak on the FIFA stuff. I'll let you speak on the FIFA yeah. stuff. What'd you, I mean, the what'd Madden, you the Madden was just kind of you know, whatever. It's Madden, you know. Yeah. Uh, FIFA, uh, you know, they're using the Frostbite engine, mm-hmm. so that's cool. It's gonna look really good. But I think the main thing they wanted to focus on was the journey mm-hmm. uh, with uh, Alex Hunter. So this is their. It seems like their answer to NBA's NBA Two K's career mode. Mm-hmm. Um, I kind of hated on it a little bit during the conference. I think it's cooler than what I first thought um, because I know you guys have been dying for something like that. Yeah. But because in the career mode now, it's like you can create your own player, Mm -hmm. but you're still kind of just like voiceless, you know? Like you don't have any like saying anything, Mm -hmm. but. And there's not like scenarios or anything like what they showed here. Exactly. Like it's just you're on the field stuff which this i think was cool because the off the field stuff is kind of like the nba Mm -hmm. stuff right but hopefully it's a little less cringy yeah i think it will be um i don't it can't be any more cringy than what we got with spike (laughs) lee's career mode in nba 2k16 that was terrible but um after that we got more battlefield one footage Mm -hmm. um Thought it looked excellent. They showed, they finally showed more gameplay. Uh, in the trailer that they showed, there was a lot more gameplay in it than the first trailer we got mm-hmm. like a month ago. Yeah. Um, which makes me, I have no doubt that game will look beautiful, but um, I'm more confident with it now that I saw extra gameplay this time around. Yeah. Uh, definitely, it looks great. As always, you know, it's a Battlefield game, it's always going to look yeah. good. Um, the some of the guns they showed it off and stuff, it kind of helped relax me more mm-hmm. about it. Like it's gonna be not just like you know, like bolt action, running around with yeah, yeah sing, and... single shot and stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, it definitely looks cool. Interesting to see about the horses and the trains and like the zeppelins and stuff like that. Yeah. That seems like a cool aspect of it. Yeah, we we should uh we should check out the multiplayer stream or something yeah um because i'm curious to see i mean that'll give you first glimpse of real true gameplay um but battlefield one's gonna be a big hit now here's a interesting wrinkle Mm -hmm. battlefield one comes out october 21st titanfall 2 comes out just a week after and i mentioned to you before we started recording that I didn't realize. I knew they were within the same month. Mm-hmm. Um, I had no idea Battlefield was coming out just a week under Titanfall 2. Mm-hmm. I think that's a terrible decision. Yeah, it's pretty much like you have this awesome game that 
people like it, it's a it's a known franchise people love it there's hardcore gamers battlefield one won't have any problem doing well exactly and they put it out first like maybe if it was switched and it had titanfall 2 out first yeah. like it would probably help it a little bit at yeah, least i think that was the way to go or as we've been hearing from other people hold you can hold, hold that it. game you know i i'm all for I understand when devs are like, man, I just want my game out there. We're done. I want it out. Um, mm-hmm. I want to show it to the world. I understand, but man, they I think they're sending that game to die. Plus, it's Titanfall 1 fell off so quick. Good game, but it fell off. Yeah, so you can take some more time. You have a few more months. Release it in the spring. Mm-hmm. Everybody will be excited about it. It'll be a new shooter. People have been playing Battlefield 1 for months now. I agree completely. It's, I don't understand sad. it at all. Yeah. Because if this one dies, I don't know if we'll get another one after this. Yeah. Because it looks like they're putting everything into this one. And it's single such a player cool campaign. concept. Like, oh, it's you, awesome. It's not like the other shooters, you know? No. But, but. I don't know. I'm. Are you going to pick it up? Titanfall 2? I probably will. Yeah. Titan. I... I love Titanfall, uh, the first one. I wish it had the single player. I want to play the single player for Titanfall 2. I'll definitely be playing the multiplayer. I love the multiplayer. Well, it, I'll give them credit. It looks like they're answering a lot of the problems that the first one had. Mm-hmm. I had a big problem with, man, this game only has like 12 weapons. Yeah. And I know a lot of that has to do with balancing and whatnot. But when you go, f- when you go from playing Battlefield mm-hmm. or Call of Duty that has 10 to 15 guns in each category to Titanfall 2 that only has like 12 to 15 guns overall. That's a drop off. And then now they've got the single player. I'm really excited about the single player. Um, Let's close this out with our final thoughts for the conference. I was very underwhelmed. Other than what we saw at the beginning with Titanfall 2, and then what we saw at the end with Battlefield 1, I was very disappointed. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Uh, started off strong with Titanfall 2. Kind of had some okay stuff in the middle. I mean, I am biased. I was excited about the FIFA stuff. but right. even And the F- FIFA stuff does look great. Yeah, and even like... I feel like they needed the Star Wars or something yeah. in the middle of that yeah. to help it. Yeah. But... A lot ended, of filler. Ended well with Battlefield 1. Just wish there was more, you know? Yeah, and I I do agree with also some of the things that we've heard about, I think, Bethesda's conference later will be yeah. extremely different. I think Bethesda's going to come out and say, everything that you see here today is going to be available within a year and a half. Mm-hmm. I'm not, has been really good I don't that. think they'll say, well, obviously every game they announced tonight won't be ready by fall, yeah. but I think they learned last year and we'll get into this later after we see what they actually do. Yeah. And we'll get into that on that video. But, um, I think you're going to see a huge contrast in the way EA is doing things right now and how, Bethesda's doing things, might do things, or did things last year with Fallout 4. Yeah. I mean, they came out and said, hey, it's available within six months. Yeah. And I think, and I, I think EA just kind of kind of got screwed with nobody was ready to like put stuff out there yet. Mm-hmm. And they were just like, well, we have to do a press conference, you know? Do they have to? That's what I want to ask you, too. I think they have to. I do, you- too. I really do. Bethesda and all the other big companies are doing it. Like, you just have to, you know? Yeah. I mean, they need to. It, it sucks because they don't. They probably knew, like, man, we're going to get eaten alive for this conference. Yeah. But I'm with you. I think if everyone else is, you have to also. I mean, I'd rather see a bad press conference than no press conference at all. Otherwise. Yeah, yeah I would too. Well, guys, that's what we thought of EA Play's press conference today. Um, (laughs) Let us know down in the comments below what you thought. Uh, We'll be sure to have more content from E3 up soon. Uh, Bethesda's conference is tonight as of the recording of this video. We'll be sure to have our thoughts up after watching that. 
But thank you so much for watching. This is Austin Miller, by the way. I think I left out his intro at the beginning. Okay, they beginning know, they but know uh, yeah, that, you guys know him pretty well by now. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys soon.